everyone, this is Dave from Daily Tech TV and I've got a little mini review for you today of none other than Opera Mini Browser on my iPad 2, just sitting off to the left here. So let's take a look and see how this new browser performs. So here we've got Opera Mini running on the iPad 2. Now it does work just as well on the iPad 1. Uh, we've got a very familiar sort of browser layout. We've got the address bar here where we can type in a new address. So let's perhaps go to uh, Migrate Fest as an example. Very quick loading as well. We're connected via Wi Fi, but it is a, just a very speedy browser at opening pages. So here we've got the Migrate Fest website. We can scroll up and down, we can pinch to zoom. It all works extremely nicely, extremely fluid browsing on this as well so a very nice sort of speed to the browser now we can also Google search so we can go up here and perhaps search for Geekanoids and again the search results are presented nicely you get this nice animation as it uh, sort of presents the results in a window we can also have multiple tabs and these are controlled just up here so we can tap on here and we can switch between tabs and as we do so you can see this little animation where the tab sort of sits behind the other one we can get rid of the tab as well by tapping the X and then we can tap on here to go into that particular window this just happens to be the Geekanoids website we can scroll up and down pinch to zoom again can we double tap to zoom in no we can't to add a new tab you tap the window tap the plus button here and then we can type in a new address and this will open up in this new window so let's go to apple.com for this one and you can see the apple website loading again that nice anim nice animation sweep and we can switch between the two tabs really easily we've also got controls up here so that we can tap on here where we can gain access to bookmarks these are the bookmarks I've got in at the moment. I can manage bookmarks or add the current page that I'm on. So let's go to the Geekanoids website. We we'll then go into bookmarks and then add that in as a bookmark. We can give it a title and then click save and that adds it in to the bookmarks. We've also got access to history. So we can go into history and look at all the previous websites we've looked at. We've also got access to the start page which takes us back to this sort of uh, tabbed uh, windows where we can gain access to quick uh, previously saved sites. So we could go to the BBC News site and it will load that in with a very quick loading time again. So let's go back to that start page. You can also see some pluses here so we can obviously add more pages to this start page. We've also got saved pages I uh, wasn't really sure the purpose of this because after all saved pages are very similar to bookmarks so personally I don't see the need for that but some of you might. We've also got settings where we can load images, uh, image quality, high, mobile view, text wrapping, opera link, privacy and advanced and in advanced we've got protocol settings, network tests and start page links. So let's come out of that and let's go into a website again, let's go into this BBC News website and show you one of the other quick features of the browser. Whilst we're in here, if we've got a page displaying, we can tap on Find in Page. This pops up the um, uh, keyboard and then we can type in a search field and find that word within the page. So really nice that they've included that. Then we've also got Share. This is a nice feature. We can tap on Share and we can share the page we're on via Facebook, Twitter or if you've got a My Opera account, you can share it via that as well. To go back, we just tap the back button. And then the last one there is just a help file. We can tap on that and learn more about Opera or go to About Opera and it gives us the particular version number of the app. Let's go back and just tap Learn More and we'll see how that's presented. It actually opens up a nice little page here where we can gain access to uh, information about tabbed browsing, speed dial, we can't click on these though, which is a bit of a shame. So we can't get any more information than what it's displaying here. But a very nice uh, experience. I like it a lot. It seems to load very quickly. 
uh, very sort of fluid in its scrolling and also the pinch to zoom is very smooth as well. Uh, I think it could have a few more features but certainly it handles the tabbed browsing really nicely. I like the little animations as it switches between windows and it seems to work at a decent speed. So this was my short look at Opera Mini Browser on the Apple iPad. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.